now time for climate control. And I'm asking, were meteorologists correct in their climate predictions? Hurricane Otis struck Mexico's Pacific coast on Wednesday, as reports say that 80% of hotels and streets have been damaged and flooded with dozens killed. This is the latest storm that has caused loss of life after Storm Babette killed three people last week. So were meteorologists correct in their climate predictions? Well, I'm joined now by senior meteorologist at the British Weather Services, Jim Dale, and director of Car 26, Lois Perry. Well, I'm going to start with you, Jim Dale, seeing as you are a meteorologist. A meteorologist. <laughs> Go on then. Were they correct? Um, this particular storm, Hurricane Otis, uh, intensified dramatically, uh, unlike virtually every other hurricane there's ever been, due to very hot waters off that coast in, Me in Mexico and... To be frank with you, meteorologists were not on top of it. Why? Because it is one of the factors of climate change that these intense storms happen kind of out of the blue in a way, and that is one of the results of climate change. So this is, we're, we're, we're walking in new, new territory. It's as simple as that. So were they correct? No, it was missed, to be honest with you. It was absolutely missed. Not sure what they could have done about it anyway, but it, it was so, missed so, so, so because you, of climate change. So you, you're saying it was missed because of climate change? But yeah. What, but what else have they missed then? They probably may have missed a lot. Lois. Well, I'll tell you, go on. Um, Lois. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's been lots of activity globally, uh, volcanic eruptions, and there's also been stuff happening under the oceans, which have warmed the seas up as well. But the point is, I mean, you know, the introduction said, um, you know, were they right with their meteorological predictions but on the climate? There is a difference between wrong. them predicting weather, though, and, and climate, and they get conflated, and Jim, bless him, does that all the time, because weather happens... Is, completely unpredictable and mad Which and wild. Which is out of the blue. Uh, yeah, yeah and, and you look at it over a 30-year period, you, you really, really do not say there's a storm here, there's some rain here, this is evidence of, of climate change. I said this before a couple of weeks ago, that even the IPCC working, working report says that there's been no escalation in, in weather events or extreme weather events over, over a prolonged period. So... Everything, apparently, according to Jim, is to do with climate change. Can, can you respond to that? Because the IPCC report did say that there's no real change, well, as it were. But, and I know that last week you kind of poo-pooed it and said, that, you know... And no, then I, We I, talked I, about NASA. Lois also mentioned NASA. And you said... Hang on. You said, well, we, really, we, should, we were talking about sports storm Babette, and you said we should ask the people in the, uh, the storm whether they feel the climate change. But I'd refer to you and say, well, surely NASA and the IPCC probably have a bit more... A bit more about I'm not, I'm not offside with NASA and IPCC. I'm not sh quite sure where this information is coming from. But let's let's well, make no, something no, no, straight. No, no, let's no, make no, something on. straight. No, no, no. Let me just be straight. Where the information came from was from the IPCC with regard to weather and NASA. That's what Lois said last week. So mm. that's where it's come from. You're saying you don't know where. That's it what was. Lois just, said. It, no, 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 if she's it's... extrapolated something that is not true, then that's what it is. The IPCC report the IPCC... is is huge. Uh, I've read most of it, to be honest with you. No, there's, you there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no misdirection here from the IPCC. Make it absolutely clear. And, and there's another thing to say. We're well, talking about, we're talking, no, no, we're talking about meteorology and climatology. I know the difference. I've been working in meteorology for 40 you odd know years. I know exactly <clears throat> what, what, what the difference is and what climate is. I'm not sure uh, a political pundit like yourself, Lois, n necessarily. Oh, I, I'm not allowed to have an opinion. You're, you're allowed to have an opinion, but you're on my subject. I'm not quite sure not where really you're your coming subject, from. Though, is it? It's not my subject. Isn't your predominant subject like predicting for a sporting and betting companies whether it's going to rain on a match day? No, Isn't that the main thing you told me that your company does? Well, well you told me that's that today. one of the. the yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, one of the. That's just one of the just, so what just we as do? We're walking into Marx's. Yeah, told yeah. Me that's what you did. <laughs> we did a bit of shopping. Okay. Yeah, that's what so, you said. Uh, yeah, part of, 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 of weather forecasting is to provide to clients who value meteorologists like myself and like others who, who supply valuable information to many, many different concerns. Mm. And that is mm. the case. Climatologists are slightly different, but I have, you have to cross over. Climatologists is something that is well, weather yeah, yeah, yeah. over a longer well, well, period listen, of listen, time. Can I just be honest? Stop, stop, stop talking about it because all you're going to do is you're going to spend time tell, explaining what the differences are without actually talking about the subject itself. So I want to bring you on to the climate uh, footprint charge for diners. Um, oh, yeah. the, there's a, they are now putting a climate footprint charge for us if we go to a restaurant. Lois, uh, what's your view on this? Well, I think the most important thing is actually 
the food miles. We should be eating locally. I mean, this is just another way of them taking the mickey out of diners, really, and making as much money as possible. It's a, it's a woke charge. They might as well call it that. But the food miles are important, not because of any CO2 emissions, but because we should be eating locally. You know, we should be having... Because the food is fresher, there's less preservatives. If you're in London, you should be having London smoked salmon, like Foreman smoked salmon. If, um, you know, you should be having English wines, English cheeses. That's good. That's what they should but be doing. There are also other brands. <laughs> Of smoked salmon available. <laughs> no, they're not. Yes, there are. Yeah. Don't, let's not do that, please, Lance Ross. I won't bring you back. Jim Dale. So I'll give you one word, and that's choice. I don't disagree with actually what you said in terms of if you can, if you can shop local, eat local, do it. It's fine, no problem whatsoever. Uh, but this particular thing that you're referencing, it, 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 there is a choice. You don't need to pay the levy if you don't win to, and those that wish to and add a, a pound or two onto their bills, whatever it is, then they, 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 they you know, you, you can do yeah, that. Yeah, but are that you in favour of it? It's your choice, as it is when you find aircraft, are, are by the way. Are you in favour? Well, which, yeah, I'm which in favour of it. I think it's a great idea. Which you Nothing, do regularly when you went to Thailand idea. the other day. Do you think, you think it's a great idea? The other idea, day, I haven't been for a year. Uh, what, to Thailand? Uh, look, <laughs> make something clear. There is nothing wrong with flying. It's, it's over-flying that's the problem. So what, it's what, eating where, beef where, overly. Where, where, where do we draw the line? What's over-flying to you? At what point? How many flights? How far? How well, if, if, you, if you're flying every second day and every second week, then that's probably a bit too many. But I think one flight a year, as I do, generally speaking... Is that to choose a new wife? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Where uh, are you going with that? No, no, he's been married to his, his wife, who's from Thailand, no, for I'm at least saying. 10 years. Yeah, wrong speech, <laughs> wrong speech. Exactly. Uh, right. So listen, yeah, no, no, Jim, so uh, like, to, to, to confirm, how much is over flying then? You think flying more than once, but you, as long as you go once a year to someone no, like Thailand, No, I'm not okay. saying once, it's, just, it's, with, it's within reason. All I would say is this, in, in terms of things like flying, things like e eating beef, it, what, what the, 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 the climate side is looking for is just a reduction of that, little bit by little bit. Why? So that, well, uh, well, let's take beef, there's two reasons for that. One, right. beef is one of the reasons. Beef cattle is one of the reasons. It puts out much more CO2 than any other food that we eat, Absolutely. By, by far. That is so it's, disputed. It's not disputed what, one little bit. Now, well, it is. Th there's another no, side no, no, to it, it as well. Is. It really it, is. Well, uh, well can I, can it, I it's not... Sorry, Jim, stop. OK. It is extremely disputed and actually it, it's, it's to do with methane isn't it or something to do with that and um, and I've met so many much more qualified I'd hate to say this but there are people in the world that are more qualified than you physicists and and scientists that think that what you're saying is so wrong we're talking greenhouse gases we're talking greenhouse gases yeah, there's, yeah, no, there's as another as side to it as well disputed. there's another side to it as well and that's the health side you know, what uh, do you mean the health? The on, health wait, wait, side no, 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 doctors. Stop. Can I just say, sorry, health is my specialism. Yeah. So, Jim, yeah. close, your mouth, close your mouth when it comes to that, because there's certain elements and vitamins that you can only get in things like red meat that most Absolutely. people need. So don't start with me on that. Right, so mm. that's, uh, of course, uh, that's climate control. What do you think? Uh, Jim Dale and also Lois Perry, thank you so much for coming in and joining me.